<laughs> I'm so excited to do this. Thank you for having me to do all of this. I know. I'm so, I just was thinking about it when we were on the call the other day and I'm like, so many people ask me in my business, like what I'm doing and marketing and video. And I'm like, you could be so helpful to loan officers. And I don't know if you've even, I don't know if you're, I'm your first one. Am I like your virgin loan officer or what? Like, you are definitely the first one. We have a couple other ones in the program now, yeah. but yeah, you were definitely the first one. It was, it was interesting to like, see the, see the change in content and yeah. how well you did, I think was amazing. So yeah, I mean, whoever we can help, I'm thrilled. So we have a bunch of loan officers, obviously within Supreme Lending. And then my goal, um, you know, is to kind of grow and build a team. And so I thought it would be so amazing to be able to kind of share my experience with you and talk about your company a little bit, and then show maybe like the before and after. So people can get an idea of, you know, what you're about. So, and don't, I'm a little embarrassed of the before, but it's okay. No, the before is fantastic. The other thing that I think will be helpful too. uh, So with Charisma Styles, hey, hey, all of you humans that are watching this. Hello. Uh, with Charisma Styles, it's, I mean, it's all new information. It's a completely different way to look at video. Um, so every single person, <laughs> it's, it's very, it's fantastic that they say this to me, but they're like, I've never heard of this before you. And I was like, well, I invented it. So that's probably why, but there's like, there's a lot of information that goes into it. Um, yeah. well, I have slides and stuff that we can share to kind of explain what Christmas Styles is. Cause once you, ex- okay. once you know, like what Christmas Styles is I think you'll understand like your experience even more. Okay. Um, We're going to way back up because how I met this ball of energy is um, she was part of the power producers program with Krista, who a lot of people that know me know that I've coached with her for a long time. So, and then you were on stage and you were like talking about all these things. And then you made us write down what we thought our charisma style was and your company is charisma hacking yes. and it was like all new to all of us in the room we're like what the heck is this girl talking about what is she doing you're like wow ah, all over the place which I love and then, <laughs> um and then so after that we had the opportunity to um have a one-on-one with you which is and, and tell me again what that's called what did we do yeah so the charisma styles analysis call oh that's right so we do a charisma styles analysis call yeah yeah. So you're going to talk kind of about a little bit, the concept of what that means. Um, and then I'll share kind of what I am and what I found out that I was, and then how I was able to implement that in recording videos that's helped tremendously. And so, um, and the end goal of this is if people want to maybe improve their video or just understand a little bit, like what their styles are, um, yeah. you're, you're doing an Academy starting, I think it's June 3rd. So there's one, I think it might be June 12th, but when, when you sign up for it, you can do it as many times as you want within a year period. Okay. And a lot of people end up taking it more than once because each time you do it, you improve more, okay. which is so fun and so fantastic. Let me look these dates really yeah, fast. And you can share your screen too, if you want to just give an idea awesome. of what it's all about. Totally. Okay. So, uh, so first thing I'm going to actually just go over kind of what charisma styles are uh and the next academy is june 12th that's when the next one is so this is this is kind of part of the presentation that i do everywhere that i speak i speak all over the country um about charisma styles because this is an entirely new way to look at video and to look at communication with people so uh i actually define charisma with charisma hacking a completely different way than most people so i define charisma as the ability to get people to do three things so number one is pay attention to number two is trust you and number three is act or do what you say and we can actually measure each of these things with a specific data point that we get from our videos that we're putting out into the world so pay attention we can measure with watch time so if people are dropping off in your videos we know that you're not getting them to pay attention to you trust we measure with engagement rate and engagement depth so like if they like or if they comment or if they message you and then action we measure with conversion rate so if they make it to the end of your video and they are not buying, we specifically know why. So charisma is the ability to do these three things within charisma hacking. We have a score and we have a style. So the score, if you just think of like how good you are at getting people to pay attention to you, getting them to trust you and getting them to act, that's your score, but your style is how you do it. So the way that I explain this is if you think of people with top fan scores, right, you could be just as good as 
Chris to Mayshore, but the way that you do it is completely different. So right. if you think of like a Russell Brunson, this is an internet marketer who's really bright and bubbly and yes. Tim Ferriss, who uh, is another internet marketer. He has a really successful podcast. He has a lot of books. He's very stoic and he does all these things. And then Gary Vee, who's a very successful internet marketer, who's really intense, right? They all have top fan scores, meaning people trust them. People pay attention to them. People do what they say. Right. But the way that they do it is completely different. Because if Russell wanted to get our attention, it would look something like this. And if Gary V wanted to get our attention, it would look something like this, right? They're completely different. So right. how they do it uh, is called the style. Right. Okay. So within the charisma styles, there's no good and bad, only right and wrong for every single person. So if you think about it, if Russell Brunson found Gary V, right? The one that's really bubbly, found the one that was really intense. And he said, okay, Gary V is successful. If yeah. I want to be successful, I need to be just like Gary V. So Russell, instead of being his bubbly, awesome self, he changed and he was trying to be intense. Right. He would be wrong, right? It's not that Gary V styles are bad, but they're wrong for Russell Brunson, yeah. right? So same way that like you and Krista Mayshore, right? I know you have a couple of styles that are similar, but if you try to be exactly like Krista, or like, if you look at me and you, both of us have a lot of energy, right. but our energy is completely different. And if I tried to be you or you tried to be me, it's not that our individual styles are bad, but it would be wrong for each yeah, other. People would look at me and be like, what happened to you? Yeah. They'd be like, uh, I, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand why you're trying to do all these things. So <laughs> we look, if you're trying to do bad things, we just, we say that's crusty and we don't want that. So within Christmas styles, like I said, no good and bad, only right and wrong for every single human. So with these styles, so first we have the fan score, right? How good you are at it. And then yeah. we have your authority style, which is how you get people to act, uh, your compassion style, how you get people to trust you and your entertainment style, which is how you get people to pay attention. So if you get these styles wrong, right? Cause there's no good and bad, only right and wrong for every single human. The stakes are really, really bad. And we've gone over this in Christmas styles Academy as well. Yeah. So the stakes of getting your authority style wrong is it doesn't matter how entertaining you are. It doesn't matter how compassionate you are or how much people trust you. It doesn't matter how long you've been in the business. They will never buy from you. Right. So I had a client that was facing the same problem. This is like six months ago at this point, his name's Nick. He called me and he was like, I swear people like me McCall. call. I know they trust me like in person, everything's great. And then all of a sudden it comes time for them to buy. And they're like, Oh, well, it's, it's not the right time. Like, I, I don't think that I can go through with this right now. And I told him, I was like, okay, it sounds like your entertainment style is great. Sounds like your compassion style is right, but you're using the wrong authority style. And yeah. if you don't change that, they will actually never buy from you. So his authority style was wrong. So you get that one wrong. If you use the wrong authority style, they'll never buy from you. If you use the wrong compassion style, if you get the compassion style wrong, doesn't matter how much authority you have, doesn't matter how entertaining you are, they will never trust you and they will never confide in you what they're going through or their pain, right? right? As you're looking at market research, as you're looking at marketing in general, you have to have their pain. And if they won't tell you, then you fail, right? right? And then with entertainment, especially when it comes to video, if you use the wrong entertainment style, it's exactly what we were talking about before. Like if you try to be like me or I tried to be like you, it would yeah. be like, what is happening right now? Right. Yeah. It doesn't matter how authoritative you are or uh, compassionate you are. You just will never get their attention. And if you can't get their attention on video, then you lose. So Real life fan scores, if you think about um, how good you are at doing these things in real life, especially for all the people who uh, are within your company who are new at video or are saying like, I don't know if I'm good at video. I don't know if I have charisma. The things right. that I remind them is if you are married or you have a best friend or you've ever been on a date before in your life, then you have a fan score of at least one. Yeah, and I, I feel like too, like, even if people don't want to do video, it, it still works for in person, right? Yes. I mean, when you're networking and when you're, you're meeting people and you're just interacting overall with people, you, you want to act in your right styles, right? So they Absolutely. Still trust you and, and you feel like normal and you're not trying to fake it and be someone else. Yeah. Well, and the crazy thing too, like a lot of people think they don't use video in business. And yeah. then I ask them like, well, have you ever done a sales call over zoom? And they're like, well, yeah, I'm like, awesome. Yeah. You're monetizing video in your business. Yeah. Right? Or like, have you ever sent an outreach video to somebody or a video text message to somebody or anything like that? And they're like, well, yeah, I'm like, awesome. You're monetizing video in your business, right? right? There's something that happens uh, when you get on camera, when you get on stages that if you are so successful in real life and you're like, I am such an awesome 
I'm such an awesome salesperson. I can do all these things in real life. When it comes to video, I don't know why it's just not working, yeah. right? So my, I, I'm better at in person, right? We say, okay, well, the, the skills that you use in order to get people to do those things, yeah. right? Pay attention, you trust you and act you in real life. All we do with charisma styles is we transfer those over to video by making sure that you're using the skills you already know how to do. So everybody has a fan score of at least one. If you're married, have a best friend or have ever been on a date. Yay, really. I have one yeah. of those. <laughs> I have that. I yeah. Totally. So it's one of those things where like you, you can't say I can't do this because you're already doing this. You're just not doing it on video, right? right? You're not doing it on video or in high pressure situations. So you're already doing Christmas styles in your real life. Yay. So now I'm going to go through really quickly just what these uh, Christmas styles are because we've right. talked about what happens if you use the wrong one. So yeah. if you remember, right, and we'll all say this over and over again, right? There are no good and bad styles, only right and wrong for every single person. So first we have authority, right? Authority is how you get people to act or how you get people to do what you say. So there are three different authority styles. You are one of these, right? And the other two are actually sabotaging you and sabotaging your success. So if you think I'm all of these, then you're wrong. And if you think I'm none of these, then you're wrong because you're one of these. It's fun people watching this for them to guess because that's what you had us do. And then after we had the one-on-one call, it was like, oh, okay. You're like, oh, I'm not that one. I got two out of three right though, I have to say in Texas. That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. We have well, and I'll go over this at the end when people are guessing their specific reasons why they guess wrong. And like, we'll talk about that too. But uh, yeah, we have like all the data on who guesses right versus wrong. It's fascinating. So the first one we have is light. So light authority says, trust the process, right? They say this, this process works for everybody. This is the process you need to follow. Uh, so trust the process. This is like Russell Brunson. If you guys know Russell Brunson, uh, he says like this framework, this framework works for everybody. This system works for everybody. Trust the process and you'll win. The second one is lift, which is trust yourself. They say, if this person can do it, then you can do it. Right. It's very client focused. And the third one is lead, which is trust me. They say, if I can do it with this person, I can do it with you. So a way to uh, think about this. So remember, you're one of these authority styles. Mm-hmm. The way to think about it is if we have three vehicles that are all going to a location, they're all going to get to that location at the same time. However, the way that they get there is different. So light saying, trust the process. They would say this bus is going to this location. This Mm -hmm. bus is the only way that you're going to get to that location. All I need to do is convince you to get on the bus, right? Right. The bus being the process, the system. If you use this process, you will win. So that's light authority, trust the process. Then we have lift authority. Lift people would say, I think that my client should be in the driver's seat. I think I should be in the passenger seat, giving them directions. Because when we arrive at the destination, I think it'd be more beneficial for my client to have taken all the turns, right? So lift, trust yourself. Then we have lead, right? Which is what you are, which is amazing, right? So lead says, trust me. They say, I should be the one that's in the driver's seat. I should be the one taking all the turns. If there's a detour, I know how to get there faster, better, whatever. Uh, You should trust me. So- Like I said, you're only one of these. So now we have compassion styles. So authority, how you get people to act. Compassion is how you make people trust you. Once again, you're one of these. So one of them is right for you. The others are wrong for you and are actually sabotaging your success. So first we have steady. This is how you get people to trust you. So steady people don't change their emotional cadence or intensity based on the person that's across from them. So somebody can come to a steady and say, the world is ending. They're like, okay, talk to me about that, right? They know that a steady will always be consistent and will deeply dive into the emotions that somebody is feeling. Right. Then we have fix. Fix people don't dive into the emotions. They dive into the context. So they don't say, tell me how you're feeling. They say, tell me what happened, right? They validate what somebody's going through by saying, oh, that's, that's normal, right? Like you feel overwhelmed. Well, of course you feel overwhelmed, right? This happened, this happened, yeah. this happened without being like, oh, you feel sad, right? You are a fix, which is so fun. I am a so, fix. You are a fix through and through, which is so fun. So finally, we have mirror. Mirror people match the emotional cadence and intensity of whoever's across from them. So they get people to continue to confess their pain to them by reacting. So I am a mirror, right? Anytime I'm on a call with anybody and they're talking, I'm like, what? This is crazy, right? It's all through reactions. So (laughs) once again, you're one of these. So if you think, well, I do all of these things, then you're trying to combine them. And you're doing something wrong. Yeah. So steady, fix, and mirror. So the other way to think about it, steady empathizes, fix, validates by saying like, oh yeah, that's totally normal. And mirror reacts. 
So then we have entertainment styles. Entertainment styles are how you get people to pay attention to you. So first we have a maze. A maze people are all about the wonder and fascination of things. They yeah. intensify, meaning like they add more energy by adding brightness and by adding magic to things. Then we have excite. Excite people are person focused, right? And they're all about the enthusiasm. They intensify by uh, <laughs> talking really fast and it's almost like golden retriever energy, right? They're like, yeah. I'm really enthusiastic and this is what's happening. This is really, really cool. Then we have charm. Charm people are all about the back and forth. So they decide where the spotlight goes. So they'll shine the spotlight on somebody and then they'll bring it back to themselves with a witty comment. And then they'll shine the spotlight on somebody else and they'll bring it back to themselves with a witty comment. They're right. always doing a back and forth kind of thing. Okay. Then we have perform. Perform people are very theatrical. They say, I belong in the spotlight. I am a perform. And the way that a perform intensifies is with more theatrics by being more expressive and kind of more over the top that way. Okay. Then we have impress. Impress people are all about the importance and significance of what's happening. You are an impress, right? Nope. You're an impress. You're charm. Oh, nope. You're charm. Nope. Are you a roar? Yep. Oh, you're a roar. Okay, we'll get the Heck yeah. So impress uh, intensifies with weight. Then we have roar. So roar, people say, I am important and therefore you should listen to me. They intensify with power. So they say, okay, here's what is important, right? If I believe this is important, you should join my team, right? Yeah. They intensify with power and with uh, strength. Yeah, this is how you had me like starting to say like, I've been in the business for over 20 years. I've helped hundreds yes. of families. Like you're, you're just giving like facts of why they should work with you. Yes, absolutely. Well, and a lot of times, uh, so being only one of these entertainment styles, it's hard because a lot of times people will think, oh, well, you know, McCall has a lot of high energy. So if I want to be high energy, I need to do the things that McCall's doing. So they'll start to like add weird things. And I'm like, okay, so I know I'm a weirdo, but it looks bad when you do it. Yeah, I was right? like, hey, hey, like, what's up? What's up? Like, oh. Yeah, totally. Right. So for you, right, you and Krista can intensify in the same way because you're both roars, right? Yeah. We both have high energy. We just have very different types of high energy, yeah. right? So a lot of times people will associate that with a specific person. And then when they try to add more energy, they just are not themselves at all. And it actually turns people off a lot. So with charisma styles, uh, it can change everything for people on video, but there's also something that makes us guess what our charisma styles are wrong, right? right? Poorly. And it's the reason why it's so hard for, um, for people to do this on their own and they're called false faces. So the first one's called a two face. So everybody has three false faces. And these are the reasons why they're not using their styles on video in high pressure situations and sales yeah. calls, sales conversations, all that. So the first one is called a two face T O O. And this is the one that you compensate for. So every single person in the world at some point has been told they're too much something or not enough something. It could be yeah. too big, too small, too extroverted, too introverted, too loud, too quiet. It goes all over the place. I love that about the Christmas Isles Academy because you made us really like think about it and and yes. like, understand like what these faces are and get rid yeah. of it. Well, and like when that happens, the hard thing is your brain automatically, it's like the survival part of your brain says, I don't like when that happened. I don't want to feel that rejection again. So yeah. instead of saying, oh, who am I? And like, how can I actually be myself? How can I actually be effective? It immediately starts to try and compensate to prove people wrong. And right. that's why people get so awkward on video, right? So my whole life, I've been told I'm too bubbly, too silly, makes me look stupid, right? Yeah. I'm too much this, I'm too much that. So I am a perform, right? The one that's very theatrical, but my two face is impressed because I try to take out all my silly in order to be more professional or more polished when I get nervous or I feel threatened all these different times, right? Now, once again, there's no good and bad styles, only right and wrong for every single human. So an impress that is an impress is awesome, but a perform trying to be an impress, that's when it looks bad. That's when and, it looks bad. And awkward. it's like, I, cause I know I was like this in Texas where I was like, what? Like it was so like crazy in a way too, where it's so much information. So that's why I, I want people to kind of like, cause it's so interesting and exciting to learn. And, and that's the cool thing about the Academy is you're like, it's, it's like slow, right. And you understand it and you get it and you know what you are and how to like do the things the right way and what you shouldn't do. And yeah, so I like that. Yeah, It's nuts. It's like, uh, so 
with this, so whether you've been told you're too intimidating or too aggressive or too smart or too passionate or too shy or too introverted, right? Yeah. This two-faced concept, it attacks everybody, right? We're always trying to compensate. The The second false face is the ooh face. And this is why uh, having a mentor that's a different style than you can sabotage you, right? It's the reason why if you model the wrong person, it can totally sabotage you. And the ew face is if you do, like don't want to be like your mom or if you don't want to be like that one scammy person that you saw that one time, sometimes that can sabotage you as well. Yeah. So what we have within Charisma Styles Academy, I mean, we can go through these really fast, but we have false face consequence keys. So not only do we know what happens when you're out of your styles, we, we have a key that says, okay, if you, Tracy, are a lead and you try to use the tactics that a lift should use, your people are going to feel abandoned. That's if you're a lead yeah. and you try to use the tactics that a light would use, you're going to look uncertain and your authority is going to go down significantly, right? So there's a key for every single part of charisma styles to say, okay, here are the things that you don't want to be. And here are the reasons why you're coming across that way, right? Even with entertainment, if you've ever been told or feel like you're being fake or insincere or mean or annoying or aggressive or abrasive or any of those things or boring, yeah. right? It's because you're using the wrong style. That's not you. So the final thing we don't evolve, we shed. A lot of people will be like, well, what if I think I'm more than one? Like, do your styles change? And I tell them no every time, right? Our, we don't yeah. evolve, we shed. So our styles are the way that they are forever, right? But we shed these false faces. Every time that somebody tells you you're too much something, you're going to add another two face. You're going to want to compensate in some way. Every time somebody tells you, or you get a new mentor, you're going to add another ooh face because you're going to try to pull towards them. Right. Every time you meet somebody you don't like, you're going to add another ew face. And our job is to shed those faces in order to be your actual styles. So we have, we have, I mean, there's so many things we can talk about, but I would rather just hear kind of your experience. I can pull up before, after videos. We can do all yeah, of the I things. Mean, I, I mean, because the people, most of the people that are going to see this know me. So I, I, I would love to do, because I'm not, I consider myself a confident person. Right. And I'm not shy and I've been doing video for a really long time. And the cool that. thing was when we had our one-on-one -on -one call, I was able to send you a couple of videos. You were, you know, you looked at them, you kind of analyzed them. And then you were like, I know what you are. And, yeah. and then you, you know, I, I got that the lead fix roar. And then from that point on, you, you kind of help, like, if you are this, this is the way you should communicate. Right. Because then yeah. once you find out what you are, you want to know, how can you say things differently? Um, and yeah. so, yeah, show the before and after that you showed it at graduation and, uh, and I, I'm, it's like a little bit embarrassing, but okay. no, it's fantastic. So as I pull this up too, I will, uh, tell your humans all about Christmas styles Academy. So with Christmas yeah. styles Academy, the program you're talking about. So the very first thing that you get is exactly what you just said. It's called a charisma styles analysis call. So there are 54 different combinations of charisma styles. And with those 54 different combinations, uh, there are only 5% of people who guess all three correct. Okay. The reason for that, because we've done a lot of research on this, is not because they don't understand what charisma styles are. And it's not that they are stupid or anything like that. It's because of the way that they see themselves. It's right. literally because of those false faces. Yeah. So the reason or the way that we have, um, made it so that everybody has the exact training that they need is the very first thing you get when you sign up for Charisma Styles Academy is I give you your Charisma Styles. So like you said, you send me a couple of videos and I break down exactly the styles that you should be using on yeah. video. Yeah. And as you dive into the Academy, right, we dive into each piece of not only how to script your videos, but how to then deliver it, like parts of your personality that you didn't know that you were not amplifying or you were hiding from people. And yeah. we go through these before after videos every single day so that you can actually see your own improvement. And I actually teach you how to coach yourself, which is fantastic. Yeah. So with Christmas Styles Academy, uh, when you sign up, the cool thing too, I tell everybody you have no ceiling unless you put it there, right? So with it, most of the people who do it end up taking it more than once, not because they didn't improve the first time, but because they did so much yeah. that as they, uh, as they dive into like more things with Christmas Styles, because like we said, like there's a lot of information there. 
You can use new before after videos, right? And you can continue to do it as many times as you want within a year period of purchasing. So yeah, because I think too, like your like each week, if I remember, is a different. Like I did the general; it was the first week of the uh-huh. academy, and then um, and, and it would be kind of cool, like if a bunch of us on on our teams, you know, did it oh. together, where we're like on you know on the same week, but yeah. and then you could do it for you do it for different categories of business. Right. So for us too, as loan officers being on the one for, you have one for realtors, Mm -hmm. right? So it was good. It was enlightening because I mean, obviously connecting with you was, you know, through Krista's program and with all of the real estate agents and, you know, to see them on, on the calls and to kind of understand realtors too. I mean, that's who we work with. Right. So, so it was pretty cool. Um, It's cool to see their questions too, you know, and like their scripts, like you're able to see everybody's before after videos and you get replays of everything too. So you can always go back and watch, right. If you wanted to see the real estate week, if you wanted to see the general week, all those kinds of things. And I think too, it's important. Like it's, it was a safe zone, right? So people that are uncomfortable on video and stuff, you never feel like we're all kind of in the same position where we're all just like learning together. And it didn't like, no one was calling each other out of anything. People were really supportive. Um, yeah. which was cool because you felt comfortable being vulnerable, you know, totally. It's, so. it's, a. I will tell you, it's an intense week. Like people don't, people don't expect it to be as like interesting. Oh, I cried, but oh, yeah. I, there's a lot of people that do, I which is cry. Crazy. I'm like, what the heck? I, I, like, this is terrible. I, I cried in Texas and I cried on the call. I'm like, I gotta yeah. stop crying. It's, oh, it's I, just, it's, like I said, it's really introspective. And we have people do, who do Christmas Styles Academy who, I mean, uh, this is our very first before after video that you're going to watch. This is, uh, her name's Cassandra. This was the first video that she ever did was her before video. And then you see all of these are four days later, right? People who tell you like, well, you just need reps. And like, if you just have practice, then maybe you'll get better over time. Right. It's because they don't actually have a solution. Right. No, I all think of it's these important to tell people days. it was literally like one week. Yes. They're four exactly. days apart. All of these videos are four days apart, which is crazy. And we have people who do the program. Like I said, like Cassandra had never done a video before all the way up to, I mean, Krista is one of my clients, right? And she does, she does millions and millions of dollars a year, right? There's people doing the program who do $20 million a year. So every single person at every single level improves and they continue to improve the more times they do it. Okay. Let's watch this. So these are, uh, there's a couple minutes of before after videos for different people at different levels. And Tracy's one of them. I'm very excited. Oh God. Let's see. Oh, let me actually, let me do this. I forgot to Share sound. Thank you so much for taking the time. I thought it was so important yes, of for, course. for the loan officers on the teams to like get this. It's the microphone, sure. Okay, you tell me if you can hear this. Cassandra Ingram with Cassandra Ingram Homes, brokered by EXP Realty. So I am a community market leader, broker associate. Choppy for you? It's a little choppy. Ah, okay, hold on. Cassandra Ingram with Cassandra Ingram Homes, brokered by EXP Realty. So I am a community market leader. Okay, it's so choppy. I don't think you can see it. I can send you this video too. Okay. Cool. Uh, <laughs> let's see if we can watch you. I have yours on YouTube too. Unlisted, but I have one. You? Mm-hmm. Oh, I was like, wait a second. I do. You're like, where am I on YouTube? You're putting me on the internet. It's, um, I shot a video because I'm starting like that master networks chapter with Chaz in San Diego uh-huh. and I shot a video for it. And, and in, on the call, they showed the video like three times. He Ooh. showed it to master networks, other networks. And, and he was like, he knew that it was because of working with you, like in the video, because I was like, I'm starting a chapter you know, like I want you to build a legacy. And I was like, so direct and I was on it. And he was like, this is so great. You're going to be like master networks famous. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Yeah. That's amazing. Okay. As we pull this up, like I said, we may, we may have to send it to you, but I'm going to see if we can pull up yours. Okay. Oh, I may have been here. Ha 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 ha. Okay. You just make me laugh. It's so funny. <laughs> there, there are crazy things that happen. Ooh, yes. Yes, we do. Okay. All right. Okay. So first we have Tracy before. Oh God. 
It's so fun. Okay, here's Tracy's before video. Hi, I'm Tracy, and I'm a mortgage loan officer with Supreme Lending. We have a really big problem right now. It's so difficult to get an offer accepted on a home because it's such a hot real estate market. And honestly, most loan officers with other companies don't properly qualify buyers up front. Okay, so there's that like the before. Days. That was like on a Monday. Yes, <laughs> this was Monday. Here's four days later. So this is my favorite. Truly, four days later, this is on Friday of that week. Are you out there shopping for the home of your dreams in this crazy real estate market? There are multiple offers on almost every single home. People are offering over the asking price, and I'm sure you're getting absolutely frustrated. And honestly, I don't blame you for being frustrated, but my goal is to help your offer stand out amongst the others. <laughs> yeah. Oh, four days. See, it's so fun. Four, baby. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> it did. It came out. It's so, it was like, it was so much easier, like when I got it. So I, I really appreciate that. Yay. I'm so glad. I so, know. okay. Christmas has Academy. So the things that your humans can sign up for, right. I know that this is a lot of information and I totally yeah. understand that. Um, it's kind of hard to be like, I help people on video sign up for this thing. No, it's so hard to explain. That's why. Yeah. I wanted them to get a feel because that's what all we did. You were on stage for like 40 minutes to an hour. Right. Totally. And then after we're like, what the, where, where'd she go? And like, we need this. Like what is happening? Totally. Yeah. It's, it's a program that, um, like I said, there's a lot of new information and we do go through it very step-by-step. So if you're like, okay, authority, compassion, entertainment, Ah, how do I know what I am? Right. First, just know within Christmas Styles Academy, I tell you what you are. Right. So you don't have to worry about getting trained incorrectly. Right. You don't have to worry about, well, I think I'm this one and maybe I'm a combination because you're not. Right. So I give you your Christmas styles first. The second thing that you can do is the first time through, like we said, you improve after the first call, right? After the first call, you film after video and you already improve right? Then by the end of the week, you go through, right? There are individual badges that you complete. And by the end of the week, you can prove to yourself by pointing out exactly what you've learned that week. Mm -hmm. And then if you're like, okay, now I want to dive into this even further, then you can take it again, right? And again, and again, for as many times as you want within that year period to continue to fine tune your videos. Or if you have different videos of different subjects that you're like, okay, now I really want to understand it. For this kind of video that I'm doing, oh man, I need to really dive into my copy for this kind of thing. You can continue to improve that within that same program yeah. uh, that we provided just because, like I said, I do know that there's a lot of information there as well. Yeah. Do you have um, a screenshot of the, all the dates? Like, yes, I do. Share? Cause then if we have it on the video with the share screen, like we could remember, cause if it's June 12th, they're going to want to sign up and have their call booked with you at yeah. least like, oh, I mean, next week, pro- well, by, maybe by the end of the month. Yeah. So, uh, we typically, so I usually can take 20 people per week total for Christmas styles analysis calls, but it depends if I'm speaking that week or not, uh, because sometimes I'm out of town. So if they wanted to do June 12th, yeah, they would probably need to sign up in the next two weeks. Like by the end of the month, I would say. Yeah. To get their calls. So these are all the calls or these are all of the dates for, uh, 2022. Yeah, for 2022 for Christmas Styles Academy. So June 12th, uh, June 27th, August 7th, August 28th, October 3rd, October 17th, November November 14th, and December. 15th. You know, it's so strange, and I noticed this the other day, but you you can't really even see the dates. <clears throat> just so you know, on our side. Oh, because they're all it's all white, and it blends in with the white background, so you can't like. Perfect. Yeah, so just a, just a heads up, because I noticed that the other that. day, but because. Yeah. See, cause like you can't on your end, cause are your letters white on your end? They are, but it's a, it's like a dark gray. Okay. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. When you, if you watch that. this back, you'll see it. That's Actually, terrible. Yeah. Wait, put it up again. I'm going to take a picture and then I'm going to text it to you. So you can nice. see what I see. Okay. Ready? Yes. Okay. And you, you're going to get to see my new camera setup that I have to fix because <laughs> it's a camera in the middle of the screen. And I want to tell people too, like you don't, you just need your phone. That's all we did for videos. Like you don't yep. need super fancy equipment. You don't need green screens. You're literally like taking your phone like this and you're recording a video and then you're posting it into a private Facebook group. So yep. your people don't see it. Your family doesn't see it. It's like private yep. and you know, 
and good. Yeah. yeah I'll, check, I'll text that to you. Awesome. The only thing that we work on in Charisma Styles Academy is your charisma, right? Yep. So everything outside of that, I mean, part of the charisma is like how you format your scripts too, but it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's all charisma. And like you said, it's all within a private Facebook group. You are watching your improvement and you have the encouragement of everybody else going through it at the same time. Mm-hmm. Right? We have a live Q and a every night. That's fantastic that people yeah. just come and they're like, okay, here's what I'm facing. Here's yeah. what I'm going through, which also, is also too, because everybody's so busy. It's not all day, right? Yep. Isn't it like, once you find out what you are, there's certain time slots that you'll attend based on what yeah. your actual style is. So I can show you. So this is our Facebook group. This is our Facebook group and all of it is within the Facebook group as well. So you go to like the guides and all of the videos are there. There's a workbook that you follow along with. So with the featured section, so this schedule is the same for every single time you go through Charisma Styles Academy as well. And I believe you are Pacific time. So I will show you that. And we have a graduation once you're finished, which we said. So this is, uh, this is the schedule for Pacific time. So once you are styled, you only go to one of the authority calls. So either light lift or lead one of the compassion calls. So steady fix your mirror. And then everybody goes to all the green ones. And then you go to one entertainment call. So either amaze or excite or charm or perform or impress or war. So yeah, yeah, you go to your calls and then you want to make sure that you have some time between calls because there is homework after every single call Mm -hmm. but yeah it's not all day long uh you block out as much time as you can within those five days and then yeah it's it's really fun it's fun and then yeah and then yeah i i I want i like you said what do you call them my humans or something but my humans my humans i i want that like i want more people I, i hate doing this stuff be the only person i want more people to do it so like we could talk about it as a group and as a team and lift oh. each other up. And it's like, so I, you know, I want to share it. I want to share the love hey. of the call and oh, Tanner yeah. in the background. You'll and get Tanner, to yeah. He left, he's in his office, but <laughs> thank you. It's, it's one of those things that once you, once you understand like, Oh, I know that everybody has their strengths, yeah. but I haven't realized how much I'm trying to be like somebody who I see succeeding and how much that is not serving me. Yeah. All of a sudden you can look at the world differently and be like, Oh, I know exactly what to take from this person who's succeeding in order to enhance my own success instead of like, oh, Tracy's so awesome on video, but I'm nothing like Tracy. So maybe I won't be successful on video. It's like, no, 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 you can. Not if you try to be exactly like Tracy, unless you have her same styles, Right. right? So it's just realizing like people already like you. We know that people already trust you. We know that. And people already do what you say in your everyday life. Right. Especially if you feel like you're a people person, most people don't get into the realm of real estate unless they feel like they're a people person. Right. We just make it so you're a people person on video. We actually magnify that success so much because we take what makes you successful in person and we put it on video actually very, very quickly. So it's really good. Love it. You're the bomb. Thank you so much. Let me know if you have any questions. Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh. It's been such a journey, but if your humans have questions too, so we yeah. can, we can give them the link directly to sign up for Christmas mm-hmm. styles Academy Perfect. that will get them in the fastest. And then right. if they have any questions or any hesitations, we can also book just like a 10 minute call to go over mm-hmm. any questions that they have too. So I'll send you the link for that too. Awesome. Thanks. Cool. Yes, thanks so much. You're the best. Thank, thank you. you.